Yeah, we'll have to uh, hear from Beluga. I gotta take Jason's water. And I was just saying just how well these guys are playing. This is Division 2, and we're seeing such advanced stuff from both those Pikachu players. I mean, the constant ledge cancels, these advanced edge guards. I was so disappointed to find out this was orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> the diversity of options in the neutral that both of them are going for. Oh, you know, this is right. not at all like the D2. Midwest Classic here. Again, yeah, this is another powerhouse matchup. Wow. Uh, so, NoobTube beef. We saw NoobTube yesterday, yesterday, and he showed us near the end of the set that we commentated that he might be that same guy that he was before, you know, he took a long break. Um, looked very strong. Uh, I don't know if he can go toe to toe with beef at this point. In his prime, definitely. We'll see how this one goes out. Two very strong Midwest Pika players. Yeah, NoobTube, I hadn't really known that much about him going into this tournament, or maybe I did and forgot, but he's been looking great. His movement is so fast. He has edge cancels maybe even better than those two Pikas that we saw before. I could give you a... Uh, and he's a, looking quite good. A fun NoobTube story, very short. The first tournament we played, I would say Smash and Splash 3, he almost beat me. Oh, really? He really? In the, in the ditto? Yeah, he threw the set away. Wow. Now, like, admittedly... The game three or game two? Game three. Game like, three. Admittedly, not playing my best there, but the fact was this guy's first tournament we had seen him in, he was uh, really able to put me to the ropes. So. Yeah. Absolutely talented guy. Oh, just doesn't find the grab there. I think he didn't expect beef for it to go for such a weird angle. Well, wow. What yeah. was that ledge cancel? I mean, that's what we saw from Noob2 yesterday. All sorts of... Uh, Ledge cancels and quick movement. His tech is, is, I would probably say, I want to say that's his pride and joy. Yeah, his movement, you can just watch him move around the map. He's so fast, saves all those frames. And I say beef, Beef's uh, tech skill and movement is incredible as well, but you really see it flourish in his, his punishes. Um, I love his recoveries too, but... His punish game is something I really marvel at. Um, seeing him carry characters around the platforms, I'm sure we'll see some of that in this set. Well, the pivot up tilt into a weak up smash back air. Big combo, finds another up tilt, but the bear at this point a little stale. Great reaction. So NoobTube kind of looking to find a kill option. What does he have? Oh, interestingly placing on that dare. Yeah, NoobTube looking very strong. The reverse down tilt. Super weird. The oh, weak bear! The reverse up smash. Oh, the weak up smash! I love it! He immediately turns around and up smashes. I have no idea if that was on purpose. Really hope it was. That was amazing. And a great up B to get out of trouble. NoobTube just up a clean stock here. Beef really looking for back airs. But NoobTube just finds the grab. And he wow. calls out the jump too. Yeah, NoobTube looking like a pro. Yeah. I was helping him warm up again in the, P in the Pika Ditto before this. He was playing very well. Okay, turn around up. Instant up air. It's the kind of quick stuff you'll expect, you'll expect to see from B. <laughs> these these uppies are just incredible from NoobTube. Uh, by those alone, you'd think he was a top player. Maybe he is. We'll see how uh, Yeah, maybe he is. goes for him because it's looking good again. so far. At this point, you got to anticipate those ledge cancels if you're beef. Like, you know NoobTube's going to hit those every time. Yeah, I love that edge guarding from NoobTube, too. Goes for the Nair immediately, and then when that doesn't work, up airs him. But beef, sealing the stock, keeping it quite competitive. Two stocks to two. Great up tilt. Yeah, gets anti-aired. Maybe expected NoobTube to back up. Oh, really unfortunate up from beef. He wanted to ride the, the ledge. Yeah, I think that's the second time he's done that, kind of making a V shape when maybe he was looking for more of an L. Up tilt, but that doesn't really work at zero. And he's oh, off stage. Two, I don't know what this up B. Going for the old Mariguas up B to top plat. Punish. Oh, yeah, he was doing that yesterday. Well, wow, that weak great there. Punish. Oh, my goodness. NoobTube. Looking like an absolute stud. I'll be honest, I forgot you could do that weak nair there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like taking notes. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning, you know. That's I'm taking notes. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, finds the bear. NoobTube just takes that with a two stock. It's incredible stuff. Honestly looking like the complete package here. Great recoveries, great combos. 
neutral was strong. I think Beef was maybe able to contest him in the neutral, but... Yeah, Andy Kins, I think you're right. I think the Nair isn't a true combo, but it's just so unusual for someone to anticipate and, and do something to deal with it. Certainly Beef was not ready. I don't think I would have been as well. But nope. Beef on him now with a couple downers. I'd like to see how Beef adjusts here because he, you know, fully capable of. Uh, oh yeah, you know, going. But he did not look in it that last game. Noob Tube just looked completely dominant. Great up there to top plat, keeping himself safe. Finds the back there. Yeah, we've been talking about Noob Tube a lot, but Beef, honestly, kind of another returning player. We haven't uh, seen him at a whole lot of tournaments lately. How well did he do at um, Cold Cutter Combos? Was he at that? Boxed at, in. At what? Boxed in. Uh, noob tube? No, beef. Beef. Uh, honestly, don't remember. Because uh, I remember the top four or top five. I remember Michigan, both EG and Andykins were in that uh, top five. And there's me, Katie, three and dogs. So I want to say he probably didn't do as well as he was hoping for. Yeah, beef was really one of the players I thought. Okay, Andykins saying he got fifth. Pretty good result. Beef oh, really one of the players I thought was... Uh, Underrated coming in. People were talking about the seeding and just kind of acting like Beef was some guy when he's really been one of the Midwest best players. Yeah. Wow, that ledge Great steal! Ledge hog. I told you we're going to be seeing a lot of that this weekend because the I think the recovery meta is very ledge uh, favored right now. Um, well, it's a little risky to do against uh, Noob Tube, right? When he's right. so good at the ledge cancels. That's, that's I was going to say. You know, Noob Tube, he's got all these ledge work. cancels. It really can uh, extend his stocks, but. The one time he opts to go for ledge, didn't work Yeah, out. gets punished for it. And Beef here up, following him. He's really good at following the Pico recoveries on the top platforms. Combos him off stage. Wow, I can't believe he ledge canceled that. Oh, misses it this time. And Beef, I think, expected him to get it, was trusting his opponent to get the ledge cancel. Misses the punish, but has him off stage again. Just rinse and repeat here from Beef. This game is looking completely different. The neutral really uh, turning this, it around. Yeah, this time he goes for the ledge cancel on the side pile. That was a great recovery. Some more great dares. Feels like uh, NoobTube has not been able to deal with these dares in neutral. And that's really been the difference maker. Not quick enough off that ledge cancel that time, but get, get the punish on B. Yeah, that was a cool punish. I wonder if he meant to up smash. But Beef just up smashes him back, and suddenly Beef is up three stocks to one. This is a massive turnaround. Yeah, and even on uh, like some of some of Noob Tube's ledge cancels, we started to see Beef throw up some good uh, pressure. To, so if Noob Tube isn't able to instantly get off the ledge, uh, Beef can start up some pretty strong punishes. <laughs> Another one of these a uh, wrong way down tilts. Got to be very frustrating to get hit by. The fast fall fair from Beef. And Beef just all over him at this point. Yeah, great pressure. Oh, and I love the down tilt. It's a great spacing tool. Well, I think he meant to pivot up tilt there, but NoobTube was too quick on the recovery. Well, the jab grab, that will seal the stock. One of those accidental dash attacks we've seen from both players. And Beef. There into the back air. Very nice. Excellent conversion. Cleans up that game. And yeah, that was a uh, night and day from that first one. I really think those uh, those dares and neutral have been a big part of what's making it work for Beef. Yeah. Um, Noob Tube still very strong in those recoveries. He was recovering over and over and over, but when Beef's just winning neutral, finding those hits, what can you do about it? You need to find some way to shut him down. So maybe the up tilts. Beef standing up. Taking a little time to celebrate that uh, that game win. Noob to block in, ready to start that third game. And I, you know, I don't know what kind of adjustment we can expect to see from Noob Tube to bring that back. I can't say he necessarily, you know, deviated from his game plan, but it seemed like Beef just kind of uh, figured out a bit some of his habits and put on a bit more pressure. Yeah, maybe. Uh Maybe some more up tilts in neutral. We might see to shut down some of those aerials. Or up air. I don't know. That uh, the beast's been thrown out. 
Beef just recovering to the far platform, resetting to neutral again. Catches him with another down air, but this time gets his approach stuffed. Oh, he Whoa, this is the dash. Yeah, noob tube. Not able to find it. More down airs coming out of Beef. That was great corner pressure. Beef was just all over him. Couldn't get off the ledge. <laughs> yeah, and Beef just jockeying around, waiting for that invincibility to wear off. I was going to say, you can see what Noob Tube is trying to go for, throwing out constant up airs. Forward facing. Yeah, I'm a big fan of forward facing up air too. Ooh, weird interaction, just runs off stage. But he finds, after the fair, not enough DI from Beef and Noob Tube. Keeping it very even, three stocks apiece. It's hard to DI I out think of this the, is be a close game. the forward air that close to the ground, right? Yeah, it is tricky. And you have to kind of react to it, expect them to be doing the fair. Yeah. Noob Tube's DI is not bad, but, you know. In some cases, it's not a question of your DI, but a question of your reaction time. I love that. Uh, wow, what was that combo? Great, Immediate great weak punish. nair, so fast to react. And what do you think? What do you think Noob Tube needs to do here? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I mean, he just. I feel like his punishes haven't been quite as strong uh, in this game as they were the first one. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. The uh, first game was so dominant, and now it's just not working out for him. Yeah, Love he, that edge cancel. He's, le course. he's letting Beef get up to high percent, um, kind of giving him his recoveries. It felt like Beef really couldn't recover that first game, and here he's getting back no problem. I love that call out with the runoff nair. Yeah. This game looking really even. If Beast's going to give you one like that, you got to be able to punish it. So. Yeah, Noob Tube improving his edge guards, I think. Oh, that ground neutral. Very close, very scary. Yeah, Beef kind of changing it up. Now playing very grounded. Um, and Beef is doing a very good job of stuffing some of his approaches with those instant up airs. Uh, I don't know how you can counter that. Yeah, Beef is just not, you know. He keeps changing up his neutral and Noob Tube. We've seen Noob Tube miss a lot of ledge cancels out. I wonder. Oh, uh, goes for the. I wonder smash. if the nerves are really kind of messing with his ex execution because those uh, ledge cancels seemed automatic uh, at the beginning of this. Immediately throws him off stage, kind of gambling that he can hit the edge guard, and it seems like he can. Great up tilt. Gets and just up finds the up smash. No, oh, but he, he misses jump. the down B. You got to jump there. Yeah. Really Maybe, you know, finger slipped on the button. If he was going to go for a single one, and this could be a big combo from Beef. I don't know if Beef wanted that F tilt because that ended his combo. He definitely could have taken that much further. Yeah, I wonder if he meant to do like a runoff nair because yeah. you're hitting the A button. And that then makes you, sense. Yeah, you get the F tilt instead. I, honestly, personally, I love doing those F tilts on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I agree in that situation. Not quite the best. And another edge ledge cancel it just couldn't make happen. Beef trying to chase him down offstage, immediately counters his approach and calls out that reverse. Yeah. There. And, and that's it. Uh, Beef didn't didn't waver after that first game. Looked like the much more confident player throughout the rest of the set. Um, where where NoobTube started messing up some of the stuff that was automatic, Beef seemed like he was mostly locked down. Few, few whiff recoveries here and there, but... Um, Kind of used his experience to to um, overpower Noob Tube. Yeah, I loved the way Beef was kind of changing up his neutral. Yeah. At first, at the beginning of that game, he was doing so many dares, and right when it seemed like Noob Tube had adapted to that, he switches to the ground game. He adapts to that. He switches back to the dares. It felt like Noob Tube could never quite catch up and get a handle. Always keep him guessing. Always keep him guessing. Because no nothing works forever, and. Uh yeah, Beef showed the importance of switching up even a win what seems like a winning strat. Yeah, Beef with a very dynamic game plan, able to figure out exactly what he needs to do. Is Chris Kringle in that pool too? I don't know. These pools are so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's these two pools are rough. You know, I remember I tweeted out that like this really. This is basically D one point five because there's so few players seated into D one. Yes. And, but this like, this feels like D3 at SSE, or maybe D2.5. 
You know, but we were going into that D3, like, looking at all the killers in there. And yeah. this is what it feels like. You see all these guys, and you're like, this guy's in D2? Like, this guy's in D2? Yeah, I think one of the things to note about this tournament structure is that only five players in the entire tournament were seated straight into D1. D1. Yeah. So in this D2, we're seeing almost every player in the tournament. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're going to see